What's up, my loves? Hello, 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 hello. Not first in class. I can't. I can't stand you. <laughs> you burnt out. I'm doing well. How is everyone? Hello, my loves. Hello, 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 hello. How are we doing? Good afternoon, good morning. Good afternoon, good morning. Why am I light tripping? Don't start this shit. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Sorry. <laughs> what you cooking? Just bought your birthday for dress for Wednesday. Okay, period. Again, happy early birthday, Miss Sabrina. Would look like where you get it from? What's the color? Maxi, is is it is it is it a body con? Is it is it a baby doll? Like what we doing? Is it a halter type? Like is it? Do you got your back out? Do you, what we doing? What we doing? Hey, hello, Miss Cat. Sausage, fried potatoes, and biscuits and eggs. Okay, period. Okay, shout out to being on a cruise. <laughs> okay, baby, relaxing and about to watch a reading. Period. You know what I miss, um, Latavia? I miss um uh um beef hot links being grilled and shit on the skillet served as breakfast oh my god girl i miss me a beef hot link Oof. jesus i ain't had one if i ever hi chrissy did everyone have a beautiful weekend Amazon mini dress rib tummy control lavender period okay we got a little purple we'll take some pictures and some video okay share them in our little um we got y'all know we got a community I don't know if y'all know this but we got a little community It's called the sub only space and we can go there and chat and all that stuff. We can submit videos or other stuff like it's called a sub only space. So tap in. I be wanting to tap in with y'all on there and I already made a post and I think Wink Mink had commented on it like a like way way later tell me i'm just finding this i'm like girl i made that a long time ago like <laughs> i guess nobody checks the shit it's like a it gives like it's low-key like a i want to say community board or like it gives um blog site type vibes low-key like we can talk to each other in that and can't nobody else see our conversations but us <clears throat> it's called sub only space it should be somewhere in y'all settings under the subscription or i don't know how y'all get to it <clears throat> exactly um yeah y'all gotta do better <laughs> y'all gotta do better all right what's up y'all ready to get into the reading what up though thank you for the gift you've been mia so i know you've been working hard how's work yes only for subscribers you have to be subscribed in order to view any subscriber um videos the messages or any of that stuff <clears throat> you have to be subscribed for that happy monday 
All right, well, let me light my incense so we can get it cracking. I need to turn my AC off because, bitch, um, this smoothie got me cold and everything. One second, y'all. channel messages right off the bat so we're just gonna go ahead and tap in and see what's going on in the energy now i'm getting channel much i'm getting one now <clears throat> uh damn this is random too uh also yeah so somebody may like pb and j otter because i'm hearing noodle Use your noodle, <laughs> noodle, do the noodle dance. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so maybe y'all are trying to figure something out. Maybe you're planning for something. Um, there's some type of think process happening or something like that. What's up, brother? Thank you. I appreciate you, rich girl. Missy, my day is going well. Hopefully, starting school next week. Okay, period. Get your education. I'm here for it. Noodle, use your noodle. Okay, so you may have to have an open mind when it comes to something. Hey, DJ Brown Sugar. Good day, period. <laughs> There's something about an idea. I don't know. Maybe you're trying to come up with an idea or something like that. There's there's something about an idea. Let me say that too. <laughs> something about an idea. I don't know, maybe you're going to come up with some type of exciting idea. Um, I don't know. Let me see. I've had so many brain babies the past month. <laughs> Love that. Okay, noodle. Use your noodle. Okay, so maybe y'all just thinking more than usual. I know when that song comes up in the show, it's because they're trying to problem solve. So maybe there's something that you guys are trying to solve or figure out. Some of you guys can just be working on different ideas, brainstorming. Okay. I don't know it can be something that you're trying to you're trying to f develop some type of idea or something like that or i don't know to push you into some type of direction that you're trying to come in go in for some of y'all it can be maybe you're trying to create a more comforting lifestyle What's up? What's this? It's the Nine of Swords. It could be racking y'all brain for some of y'all. <clears throat> Alright, anyways. If you was having some type of um, writer's block or just feeling blocked when it comes to your like, creative process, I see that progressing. Get uh, That's clearing up. Something's about to push forward. Okay. What's up? Thinking of new ideas for your business. Period. 
All right, Holy Spirit. What else on this energy you think of? So you can be trying to look for the next million dollar idea or something like that. Because I'm hearing um, um, that song by Eric Bellinger and uh, Wale called Treat Yourself. And it goes, um, I deserve that whip right there. I deserve to pull up to that big house in my name. I deserve that drip right there. Bust out with my wait, what bust down with my Rolex and my chain. Sometimes you gotta treat yourself. <laughs> so he's like, Yeah, okay. So some of y'all are trying to figure out some shit, so y'all can just have that shit y'all feel like y'all deserve. Like I don't know how else to put it. Like it's gonna be different for everybody, but that's the energy I'm getting. What's up, Leilani? Period. And do. You might see. And do, girl. Shit. I feel you. And look, the emperor at the bottom of the deck, y'all is like thinking of some big boss ass moves or just trying to put yourself in a boss ass position. Look at the ace of pentacles, bitch, with the emperor. Stop fucking playing, my nigga. What? With the eight of pentacles and the ace of wands? Stop! 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 Stop right now. I mean, not stop. Keep going, bitch. But you know what I mean. Stop playing. Bruh. Go collect it, okay? <laughs> That's the fucking shit I'm talking about right there. Gross. See, let me tell you. I keep telling y'all, them subliminals. Bitch, them subliminals. Whoo, girl. Knock a nigga on fire. Damn, we just gonna take that. We just gonna put that all right there. Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. We just gonna go ahead and keep it right there. And again, if there were some blockages with this Two of Swords and the Five of Wands, or in Seven of Wands, <clears throat> baby, those blockages are being removed with the tower. Oh, not the star coming out. Yes, blockages are being removed. Shit is being healed. And the Knight of Swords is behind there. Shit is moving forward. And that's just on period. Yeah. 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 The Lovers and the Nine of Cups. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Ooh, we, we love the Fulfilled Queen. <laughs> okay. Shout out to the Rico Suite. We love that. Oh, congratulations. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's, that's, <laughs> this is the type of shit I like right here. This is shit I want to talk about right here. Where the money back? What do you mean? Let's get the money out. We're starting off strong today. He talking about them funds. We like to talk about them funds and, and, and career shit. That's going to get us to the next level. We love talking about that type of shit. Oh, where that shit at? It's okay. If I can't find it, we got this. Find it later. <laughs> Roy's Royce is in private jets, anyone? You ready? Because <laughs> that's what I'm trying to be. <laughs> like... Ready to go on a PJ and fly to another island? We can work from somewhere else. I'm... Are you with me? <laughs> Are you with me? Because that's what I'm trying to do. People be trying to say I'm, I'll be too delusional or I'll be, um, like, I think of unrealistic shit. But I've 
seen people come from the projects and stuff like that to Rolls Royces and private jets. So, why I can't? Bitch, why I can't? I already see it. So, if I see it, babe, you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> I'm going to be on that PJ, bitch. In strawberries. On my way, me and my son and my family <laughs> to the next destination, bitch. <laughs> Shoot. All right, give me more on this energy, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> okay. I'm, girl, a huge visionary. I don't play games. I'd be still stuck at somebody's job if I wasn't a visionary. All right, let's see. Not saying people who are stuck at jobs don't got a vision because y'all may have, you know, y'all may have to be put in the workplace to bless other people or something like that. Everybody got a different uh, uh, purpose, mission, and all that. But I know my purpose ain't to be at nobody nine to five. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about this energy, Holy Spirit, with this Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Love it. Putting those ideas to work. Creating new opportunities. Like somebody's creative juices is flowing. I'm hearing abundance is at the bottom of the deck. Easy money, divine intervention, light work, air related, undecided travel. Okay. Hey, what's up? Hello, Miss Karina. Hola. All right. Oh, yep. Y'all supposed to, y'all supposed to be out. Y'all supposed to be putting yourself out there. This is definitely for my creators here, and I don't care what you do to create. But this is for my creatives. This is for y'all that have to put yourselves out there, whether it's your work maybe you actually putting yourself out there maybe you got to get in front of a camera or something like that but there's something where you have to put either yourself and or your work out there <clears throat> career says self-made fame exposure reputation I see y'all taking risk. Money skills cracking. It's definitely something that you have to do with your hands because hands are heavy here. heavy so definitely have to something you have to do with their hands for some of y'all it's your face some of y'all can be um, dabbling in the beauty industry in some type of way financial growth is here coming to fruition abundance I like this I love this energy I love this energy. Mm -hmm. Everything's like growing here. You got this rose, goddamn. You got the tree. going to bloom for y'all for my creative things are going to bloom some of y'all may also get like business contracts and stuff like that some of y'all may also get into like investing or this is just you investing in yourself putting in the work yeah there's those ideas right there 
Mm-hmm. Lucrative ideas, new income source, inspiration, entrepreneur, new job, creative work. Like I said, like I said, money coming in, baby. Money coming in, wealth, good investment, sales, finance, getting a raise, lucky. Okay, period. Steady income is behind that and Clover is on top of that. Lucky break, gamble, good fortune, chance, finance, outdoors, risky business, surprises. So I feel like these ideas and stuff that you work on and pursue, you're going to be so surprised on where it gets you. And I do feel like it's going to be a slow and steady increase. But it's because you're taking the proper steps. Mm. You're doing a lot of strategizing right now. Okay, Pierre, Rainisha. Ooh, I love this for y'all. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Let's get another card, Holy Spirit. So I feel like some of you guys are starting to seize the moment. You're no longer sitting on your ideas, okay? You're no longer in this mode where you're just not putting anything to work. You're about to like, you're like, yeah, it's time to get this going. Mm -hmm. Shout out to these new ideas. So these new ideas, y'all, that y'all coming up with. It's going to bring in that big money. I mean, give me my money. <laughs> they going to be giving you your money. <laughs> Period. Big boss energy. What? You running things. <laughs> Baby about to be running things. <laughs> I love it. Prepare to reach a place where you're going to be so financially content. You just like, yeah. <laughs> Award at the bottom of the deck. Winning money. Pay off for effort. Mm -hmm. Pay off for effort. Exactly. Recognition. Advancement. Professional work. Fame. I'm trying to tell y'all. Do your shit. Put those plans in motion. And baby, this is where you're going to be at. That's where you're going to be at. I'm seeing the Six of Wands. Gift at the bottom of the deck, too. I'm seeing the Six of Wands. You're going to be put in a position where you're able to give, receive, all that. Okay? I am seeing the Six of Wands. Mm, 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 mm. I'm hearing I'm in the money I'm in the money <laughs> Ace of Swords and the Magicians Come on with the thought process Come on with the breakthrough Come on with the action Mm, 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 mm. Them new ideas is oof. The new ideas is oof. Watch them work. I'm trying to tell y'all, watch them work. Nine of Cups, y'all about to be sitting pretty. Do you hear me? You're gonna be so emotionally fulfilled. It's ridiculous. And I feel like whatever these these ideas that you guys are gonna be taking um action on. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. Okay, it's gonna be making you feel real good, and I feel like it's gonna be um, accepted as well, widely accepted. I feel like you like, huh? I ain't about to lay down and feel defeated. Eh, uh -uh, I'm about to go ahead. <laughs> Can't be out here playing with these games. Oh, I love this energy. It's all about you today. Mm-hmm. Y'all yeah, been in hermit mode. Mm. 
Yeah, I may have some people taking that personal, but that's all right. Who gives a fuck? And not the Six of Wands pop out with the Four of Pentacles. That's Six of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. And it's because you've been doing your shit. You've been being disciplined, taking control. I knew that Six of Wands was going to come flying out. Because you're out here doing your shit. Y'all gonna go from penny pitching to not wanting for nothing. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. And it's all because of the, the seeds that you planted. All because of the seeds that you planted. So these seeds that you got going, baby, that you taking your time to plant and water. Ooh, Lord. You're going to be blessed. So I'm being called to tell y'all to keep going because these ideas that y'all are taking um, action on is going to put you in a very abundant energy and you're going to be celebrating. Some of y'all may also come across um, collaborations as well. Seven of Wands is here. The sun. <laughs> Continue to be assertive. Continue to be assertive. <clears throat> All right, anything else about this energy, Holy Spirit? Continue to be assertive and fight. King of Wands. The ideas are going to be coming. The ideas are going to be coming. That place of lack you're leaving behind, babe. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. The five of pentacles in the chariot. That place of lack, baby, you're leaving behind. That five of cups energy, baby, you're leaving behind. Yes. Some of y'all could have had been moping at one point in time about your, your losses and your failures and stuff like that. But don't even see them as losses, baby. They're lessons. They ain't nothing but lessons. <laughs> okay? They ain't nothing but lessons. So we're going to learn them and walk away from the bullshit. And we're going to walk into this, uh, this, um, this Six of Wands energy, this Ace of Pentacles, this Emperor energy. Okay? Because y'all here doing shit. Go collective, go collective, go collective, go collective. Period. Future looking bright. Mm. Future looking real bright. Last card to close this out, Holy Spirit. So we can tap into another energy. I love this. Last card to close this out. The devil. Mm. Whatever it is that you're creating, people are going to obsess over. They're going to obsess over, okay? Whatever it is that you're giving, baby, people are going to want more. Can I have some more? Can I have some more? I see somebody taking out that car. Damn, just... Period. But you made it. Four of Wands. God damn. We love good stability. We love good stability. And whatever it is, I swear it's going to bring y'all so much emotional fulfillment. Um, this is definitely going to be something that y'all love doing. For others of y'all, this is an intuitive um, field that you may be taking pursuits on. But I see people loving... Whatever it is that you're bringing, I feel like they're loving it all, okay? Wanting more. Okay, make sure you don't allow any fears to hold you back, but I feel like y'all not. I feel like y'all are moving forward from all of that. I love that.
Okay. Hmm. Right. Let's get some advice. Queen of Pentacles just showed her ass. Hey, what's up, baby? Four of Wands. Ooh. Ooh. What's the advice, Holy Spirit? Um, for others of you, um, for those of you who are not doing like self-employed things and you're trying to like move up in a company or something like that, I definitely see that happening. I see somebody being offered some type of promotion to where you're the, you're ahead of shit. Okay, you you calling the shots. So congratulations on that. All right. <clears throat> Advice for the collective Holy Spirit when it comes to this, uh, these career moves and stuff like that. those chances on yourself take those risks on yourself excuse me make sure you be a lot more um optimistic when you release these projects and stuff like that because i feel like things are going to build up like i said it's going to be a slow but steady climb Be confident in your um, in your choices that you're making. Don't play it small. This ain't the time to play small. Okay. I'm gonna need you to have that full energy. <laughs> Have that full energy when it comes to taking a risk on your um, on your plans and ideas and stuff like that. Be confident in your shit. Okay. I love that. Okay, we talked about my career today. Okay. Period. I'm a big dog. Period. <laughs> Yes, ma'am, but this energy is looking real, real good. I have no idea where my other deck is at because I really wanted to pull from it. But I have no idea where that money deck is. Oh, wait, here it is. Hold on, let me get a couple from here. Okay. the collective when it comes to their money, the ideas that they're um, brainstorming on, and all that stuff. I just keep, you got to keep going, is what I'm hearing. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. Focus. I can't. You got to keep going. Okay. You got to keep going. Make sure y'all are focused. That's also what the strength card is as well. Make sure you're putting your energy in the right places. This is not the time to have your energy scattered. Okay? 
some of y'all may have to get over the fear of failing or that's something that you're working through. Again, that confidence. Baby, be confident about your shit. Right. No, it didn't. Get on a schedule if you haven't already put yourself on the schedule. Okay? It says most forms of prosperity require time and effort to manifest. Do you have room in your schedule for the abundance you are wanting to attract? So make sure you are making time for the things um, that you want to bring in fruition. Okay? You know you want to have this successful business or this successful um, social media. Make sure you're taking time out your day to do the posting or do the content that you need to be um, working on and shit. Because if you don't and if you're not... Uh, Keep it a routine, baby. You ain't gonna go nowhere. You gotta be consistent. Okay? And don't be worried about the competition because, baby, there is no competition. There ain't none. Can't nobody compete with you. You in your own lane. Okay? Remember that. You are in your own lane. Anything else about this energy, Holy Spirit? Yes, it will be. Damn, they give me a lot. That's too many. Just give me a couple. Thank you. Just one. Destiny. Ooh. Yes. You have a divine destiny to fulfill through your career path. Your work will help elevate the consciousness of this planet. Ain't that what I was saying earlier? I don't care what type of work you do, whether you're at a nine to five, helping other people and stuff like that, or you run your own fucking business. Wherever you are, you're placed there for a reason. It's your destiny. It's your purpose. That's it and that's all. Okay, because you're there to help somebody or to do something that's going to elevate people, the world. You're going to make some type of difference in whatever type of work that you do. So you ain't got time to be um, be scared of um, failing because maybe you're not going to fail. It's your purpose. It's your purpose. So step into it. All right, anything else, Holy Spirit? Last card. I wasn't trying to make it a love and career collective. This is just the energy that came out. So, um, I'm letting spirit... The uh, Holy Spirit, you know, guide the messages. Y'all know I don't never be. The only time I ask them when we do suggestions up in here. Otherwise, I'm going to get the channel message. I say whatever it is. And then I get the cards. And it just it just adds up, babe. So, <laughs> this is, I'm just, I'm letting Holy Spirit guide the message. Last card. Yes, I'll be doing um private as well. I'll be doing personals. So if y'all want to get that, yeah, I know that's available. <clears throat> last card. Maybe that was the last card. Here it is. Yeah. With your unique experiences and fresh perspectives, you will do very well specializing in a niche. But it came out in reverse. So I feel like some of y'all don't need to try to box yourself in because I feel like some of y'all have multiple ideas. Okay, you could be a jack of all trades for some of y'all.
Yeah, some of y'all, it's, it's, can't put you in the box. You do so many good things. Like, you're not a, a one-hit wonder, a one-trick pony, what they call them, or anything like that. Innovate at the bottom deck, yeah. With the right inspiration, you can bring a novel approach to almost anything. What can you innovate to contribute towards making the world a better place? Some of y'all could be working from home. But make sure you're doing, you know, continue to do your brainstorming and stuff like that. Put your ideas to motion because... And stay focused and put yourself on a routine, a schedule. It's looking good. It's looking real good, mommy. <laughs> Let's see where y'all gonna be at uh, by next year this time. Damn. Where would they be at this time next year in their finances and career? King of Cups. Loving it. <laughs> Woo! With the Queen of Wands on the top and the world with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, y'all gonna be doing y'all shit. And y'all gonna have people in uproar too. One more card. Oh, where they gonna be at? Nine of Cups came out. They said, We said what we said, bitch. <laughs> I'm here. I'm loving it. <laughs> So, okay, no more. Wait. <laughs> Why did I hear that? Did I just see your fucking girl? Stop. Stop right now. Stop, bitch. You are scaring me. You scare me. Because what the fuck, bro? Yeah. Damn, not all of us saying that shit at the same time. That's crazy. I love y'all. We we here. We here. We so aligned. <laughs> oh, this energy is so beautiful. Yes. Now I'm hearing sitting on top of the world by uh Brandy. So y'all really gonna have motherfuckers hating. Cause baby, she's talking about like she's sitting on top of the world and shit. But she still have her own issues. Like, she still go through everyday life. Like, she, ain't nothing changed about her. Just, you know, she was she got money. And, she, you know, she's doing what she loved for a living and stuff like that. That's the only thing that changed. But people was just making it seem like, oh, uh, well, she thinks she all this. And she thinks she all that. And da 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 Because she got da 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 That's going to be people. That's going to be people looking at y'all. Because you're going to be in this energy. Let's not forget this one. <laughs> Let's not forget the Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles too. Okay. Mm. Because handling your shit though. Fighting for what you want though. Okay, you wasn't out here playing these games. Period. Shout out to sticking to the plan, babe. Damn. Some of y'all also going to be in a relationship. Because there's the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, you're just working hard. I love y'all. Putting this shit to just, just, just doing your shit. Yeah, some of y'all may have y'all little boot thing. Okay, that's my boot thing. Yeah, some of y'all. Because we already got the, uh, is he on here? Yeah, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups is right there. Look. Aww. Look at y'all. Y'all so cute. Mm -hmm. So not only y'all going to be doing that, y'all going to be getting love too. And it's just like, baby, you're going to be out here looking real good. And people are just going to be so sad. Okay, because I feel like y'all are ducked off right now. Remember I pulled the hermit earlier. Y'all are ducked off. That will also explain this four of pentacles. 
y'all are ducked off with y'all energy right now because y'all are here creating. Y'all y'all trying to handle some shit. Y'all trying to make some shit. <clears throat> uh, jump all that. All that. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Okay. See, that's why I like using this deck right here because it brings out the more childlike. It brings out fresh energy. Like, because y'all know with children, it's just all the imagination. I can do anything, I can do everything I want. And I just get very good vibes from the Doodle Girl. Like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Let's see what's going on with this uh love that's coming in. Okay, this is beautiful. <laughs> no, for real. My family don't never see me. They don't even know what I look like unless they've been on my social media or something like that. And then you can't get nothing from my social media. Because on Facebook, all it is is probably photos I posted like earlier in the year. And then I ain't even friends with none of my family members on my Facebook. It's a kind of a brand new Facebook. I don't even be on. I got like a hundred friends on that hoe. <laughs> and my Instagram, the only thing that's up there is a rising phoenix as my profile picture. And the only picture on there is a meme that says self-love. <laughs> so, baby, you're going to have to find me on TikTok. You try to see what I look like. You better go to TikTok, YouTube. Yeah. And then, then you ain't going to be able to get nothing off because this I'm just doing work. So, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and keep going. <clears throat> I was right about you hanging out with the, with the babies at the party. <laughs> did you have fun? You deleted your Facebook. I feel you. I'm. I'm my little. Well, I'm. I want to too. But there's this group that I go to. Um, this witchy group that I be in. That's the only reason why I'm on Facebook. <laughs> Alright, let's tap in because that career, them ideas, that was beautiful. So let's move into the love situation that's coming in. Cause it looks like y'all gotta y'all gonna have a partner to come in with that too. And I I love that. Yeah, with the kids, I ain't really entertain anyone else. That's so cute. <laughs> Something popped out. Queen of Swords. Okay. Boundaries. So some of y'all have been enforcing boundaries. I also feel like you're very clear on what you want and what you want out of a relationship, what you would tolerate, what you won't tolerate. <clears throat> These cards keep falling. Okay. Am I going to be live Friday? Uh, possibly. What's going on in love, Holy Spirit? What's coming towards them in love? Because that energy is trying to pop out. You're telling my collective they got love coming. So can we talk about it? Ah. Okay, here is shout out to being more intentional. That's what we like. That's what we like. I'm getting if it ain't the Ten of Cups, baby, you don't want it. I don't have any other accounts on TikTok. This is my only account. <clears throat> Not Bartholomew. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll be laughing. But that is... <laughs> it made me think of Don't Be a Menace. Because <laughs> her son was Bartholomew. <laughs> yeah, she was like, you'll be walking around with three shoes. Two on your feet and one in your ass. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm sorry. I ain't, I ain't got off. I ain't got off track a little bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. 
Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to block and report them, babe. That you're gonna get that a lot on here. <laughs> All right, what's going on in love? Tell us about this, uh, this partnership coming in. Okay, we love a focus queen. Tell us about this partnership that's coming in. I keep hearing boo thing. And then the first card I was the higher fan. Tick. No. Bitch, who is this man? And it's coming. Oh, wait. And it's coming faster than you think. And it's coming faster than you think. Not the thing that comes in the King of Pentacles that is coming faster than you think. What the fuck? What's at the top? The <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, the star, and the strength, and the Ace of Pentacles. Take the higher print, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Cause what, bitch? I'm married now. I I'm married now. I'm <laughs> married now. Oh, baby. If the work ain't justified, you won't find me doing it. Best believe. Please make sure you get divination done before you try to buy any work from anybody. Anybody that, that you try to buy work from, make sure they do divination first. Because if they don't do divination, then you probably don't want to buy any work from them. Whew. We love a good manifestation with this Ace of Swords here. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, tell us more. You burnt out. That man told me he was gonna marry me last night. Okay, period. Alright, let's talk about it. Somebody could have a pet. Oh, baby, you just needed cleansing. Take you a spiritual bath. Ain't gotta be nothing serious. <clears throat> well, depending on what you feeling. All right. Tell me more, hold on, Holy Spirit. You burnt out, Sam. Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all have been working on yourself to do this. And I also feel like whoever this person is that's coming toward you, they've been working on themselves too with the Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit card. Something about fish. Somebody could have recently watched um, The Little Mermaid because I'm hearing um, Under the Sea. You got Eight of Pentacles, the Higher Fan, King of Pentacles, and the Hermit with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, a lot of inner work being done on both sides. Especially on this King of Pentacles. I keep hearing, baby, that's my boo thing. I don't know. I do not know that song like that. Let me look up the lyrics because it must be relevant. Let's see what the lyrics say. But somebody just boot that. Who was that even by?
Kelly Rowland? Oh no. I don't think that's the one I'm picking up. I don't know. That's, wait, I think that, okay, that is a, okay, hold on, let me look. Yeah, I think that's the one I'm picking up, hold on. It says, okay, this shit is so random, and I, and when I'm with you, it's like our heartbeats are in tandem. When I lift the lock, I just want to hold your face for ransom. You're beautiful, and I'm handsome. That'll be good for the babies, if we ever go there, maybe. It's crazy, no titles, but you're my baby. <clears throat> when I'm idle, that's your time. Showtime, and for you, I wish I had more time. Red wine, chocolate, baby, you can be my valentine. More than just sex exchange, baby, you my boo thing. So, whoever this person is, this is someone that you don't, you didn't have a title with or something like that, but y'all knew that the connection was like, bitch, we locked in. What's up? So, I feel like this person may have been doing a lot of inner work on themselves. Maybe they felt like they weren't ready for the commitment at one point in time, but now it looks like somebody is ready to work on solidifying this connection interesting interesting this could be somebody who you have um little contact with hmm. let me see says i know we ain't no strength we ain't got no strength attached but this could be a perfect match and girl we ain't no cutty um no cutty buddies because this is way more than that yeah somebody yeah somebody went into hermit mode and could have realized that as well and i feel like somebody was like yeah this is something worth holding on to this is something worth uh working on somebody can feel like Complete with you. <clears throat> Let's see. It's, he says, hey, girl, I can't live here without you. Yeah, he ain't living here without you. Okay, period. And how you're looking, I love everything about you. So this person can also love the way that you carry yourself, how you look, the way that you dress, your hair, the way that you smell, your skin. Girl, is more than your body. I'm making love to your mind. And every time that I want you, you're ready all the time. Uh -huh. So this is also someone um, that you make time for. Like, you will push your little schedule aside from this person. If they come calling, you picking up the phone. If they texting, you texting their ass back. You like, hey. <laughs> the moon yeah things are about to progress okay love that Queen of Pentacles, not nice. you being sneaky, making the plans on the low low. All right, let's see. So, I feel like this person's working on a commitment. <clears throat> What's the higher fan and the eight of Pentacles? Also, it just gives this energy of y'all attracting. And for those of you who this is not about a pious person, because I didn't even see the six of cups, the six of cups they pop up. So, if you have not yet met this person, I feel like inner work is being done on both of y'all. And this is going to be somebody that you're attracting in because of the work that you're doing. Uh, never mind, there's a six of cups. <laughs> wait, wait, all right, all right, all right, all right. Some of y'all just may have a pet. 
past connection with this person. <laughs> like a past life connection with this person. If for, <laughs> and for others of y'all, it's it, it this is like a reconciliation. <laughs> oh shit. Damn, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> they really said a psych bitch. What you talking about? <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <sighs> and if it's not, it's just a soul connection with the four of wands and the six of cups. Like it's giving past life connection. It's give life. Um, it's giving soulmate. You know. <laughs> Holy Spirit said, I can look at it both ways. For some of y'all, this is somebody um, that you want to reconcile with. And for others of y'all, this is somebody that you are attracting in. But let me clarify. Let me see what's up. Is this a new energy that's coming towards the collective? I'm, I'm sorry, it's not. You got the page of wands reversed, babe. And the temperance. It is not. <laughs> um, this is something that you may have been patient for patient for and needed to find patient for <clears throat> sorry boo boo <laughs> sorry boo boo okay so what else about this energy holy spirit The chariot, like I said, is moving forward. You got the chariot with the, the ten of cups. It's a wrap. Somebody's moving into a commitment. And the emperor is at the bottom of the deck. The sun at the top with the tower. Yeah. It's a lot of changes going on. I heard the only new you gonna get up in this bitch is a new cycle with this person. <laughs> and look, the step of the cups and the judgment. The only new shit you gonna get is a new cycle with this person. <laughs> uh, all right, what's the hype man? Eight of Pentacles. Give us some more. Six of Pentacles. Even give and take. And now I'm hearing that song, Love by Music So Child. I'm going to work on it and give an even, give and take. Yep, two of wands. <clears throat> somebody's planning for this. That's why somebody's being quiet with the hermit. They planning for the future. They doing a lot of um, work behind the scenes to push this connection forward. I also feel like somebody can be working on their finances. I just seen the Nine of Cups. I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. You burnt out at least. That's it's a good time to come back out. It, no, babe. No. All right. Two of Pentacles, the Emperor. Decisions are definitely being made. Y'all yeah, can be seeing the number four a lot or the number two. 44 as well. I feel like something being divinely guided. <clears throat> yeah no more juggling the idea of you know 
am I going to do this? Am I going to do that? Somebody has made a decision. Because I remember the two of swords used to come out a lot. Like, bitch, figure it out. But somebody is um, stepping up. Okay. They want to bring balance. And I just Queen of Pentacles. And he's she's in the same role as the King of Pentacles. With the Three of Pentacles. Ain't that some shit right there with the Six of Wands underneath that. And the World card. And the Ace of Wands. Damn. This person is ready to bring balance to the connection and actually work with you and offer you something uh, offer you something solid for sure. Huge victory. Huge victory. Okay, we love somebody that's ready to take action. We love that. All right. <clears throat> Two of cups. Jesus Christ. And the queen of cups at the top. This person um, sees you as very nurturing. I also feel like this person sees you as very um, attractive, too, because the Queen of Wands was uh, underneath that. You're very, um, I want to want to use the word sexy. <laughs> Somebody is very appealing, alluring. Somebody has a very seductive, um, like, you ooze, like, sexual energy or something like that, bitch. I don't know. Uh, I just heard somebody say, how could I go wrong with her by my side? <clears throat> I feel like the whoever's around them may actually be happy about this. Because there's something about them being in a very... Um, celebratory energy or something about the way that you make this person feel because look how they are on this horse head is up eyes is closed like in bliss like mm, yeah bitch like this is it and like if you notice everybody is cheering happy okay loving it Versus the six of wands in my other deck where you got people kind of like not really happy for that person. Kind of scowling in the background. Like, damn, bitch, why it couldn't be me? Like, even the, the horse was like, bitch, I'll throw you off this hoe. <laughs> but look at everybody. Everybody's happy, even the horse. <clears throat> Lovers at the bottom of the deck. I didn't even know that. Damn. With the will of fortune. Damn, this is destiny. The moon and the nine of pentacles. I really feel like some of y'all don't necessarily see this coming. <clears throat> but I also feel like this person had to um, get out of their own way. They could have had some type of fears. Okay. I'm on my way. Somebody can want to come see you too? Not the lovers and the two of cups as I split the deck. What the? F Yo. And then the three of wands is underneath the lovers. <laughs> I'm on my way. Queen of cups is underneath that. Somebody can be at a distance from you. Right. Last card from this deck, Holy Spirit. Not the Empress and the Two of Cups. Look, look, look. Okay. I'm really trying to... <laughs> I am really trying to move past. Like, <laughs> this shit is crazy. I just keep splitting deck to beautiful shit. Okay. What's my collector's advice? I'm hearing, for those of you who are dealing with someone who you're reconciling with, don't be holding on to the past. If you're going to forgive, forgive and let go. Don't be forgiving and then bringing that shit up and throwing it back into this person's face. If you're going to forgive them and actually move forward, forgive them and move forward, bitch. Don't be sitting there trying to pull up the past and, oh, remember this and did it. No, 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 no. 
If you can't let go of the past, then you don't need to try to be with this person. I don't know who that's for. But if you're going to continue to go forth with this person, let the fucking past go. Everybody got time for that shit. Exactly. Ten of swords at the bottom deck. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. If it's over, if the past is over and you forgive this person and you want to move forward, then let that be just it. You ain't got time to be trying to bring up other shit, especially for those of you who can sometimes get in little heated arguments and you bringing up other shit. That is emotional manipulative. Stop doing that. That shit ain't cool. You can't forgive and keep trying to throw shit in somebody's face, especially if they are trying to change. If the if the work is in progress, okay, let it be in progress. But don't be throwing the past in the face. If that, what you throwing the past in the face if they ain't doing it now? So oh, okay, shit. Alright, what's the advice, Holy Spirit? <clears throat> Page of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Look, y'all, when they come in with this offer, you're going to be a little bit guarded. You're going to be feeling a, a, a type of way, but you need to know somebody is serious about you. Somebody seriously wants to invest. King of Wands. You got you. Five of Pentacles. Exactly. Five of Pentacles under the Nine of Wands. The shit that happened, the shit that got you to this point, you need to let go. Let it go. I feel like this person is doing the same thing. So you need to do the same thing. You need to do it too. This person is leaving behind whatever the shit that may have hurt them, that allowed them to do whatever it is that they did in this connection that could have put you in this energy. Y'all both got to learn how to let go. And for others of you who are trying to call this in, there can be someone here that you've been holding on to <clears throat> that's been putting you through the ringer. Bitch, let them go so you can get this King of Pentacles, Higher Fan, Ten of Cups, Six of Wands. Some of y'all are still holding on to some past shit that happened between you and a, another person. And even though you don't deal with them no more, you're still holding on to the shit that happened between you and this person. You don't even deal with them no more. You still bitching and shit. Girl, if you don't, girl or boy, if y'all don't go do that, uh, do that work, that inner healing and shit like that. Because some of y'all are still holding on to past shit and you're not even dealing with this person. Hey, Logan. Okay. You want the new? Let go of the old. All right, last card. The Empress. Bam. Woo. Love it. Some of y'all going to end up pregnant. Y'all going to start a whole family with this person. All right, last card, Holy Spirit. Thank you. The Magician. And it's because this is something y'all manifested. Ace of Cups still at the top of the deck. The moon at the bottom. For some of y'all, y'all intuition has been telling y'all it's coming in. Okay. So if you are dealing with someone... That's coming in to reconcile. Let go of the past that helped that um, happened between y'all because somebody is coming in um, to do right. 
And if you are happen to be somebody who is holding on to the past from somebody who doesn't e- that you don't even deal with or talk to anymore, you need to do the healing work so you can manifest this energy in. Because I feel like some of y'all are trying to manifest the energy in, but you haven't fully let go of the past. So it ain't going to work if you ain't let go of the past already. So, I think I'm just going to title this, Money is Looking Good and Love is Coming In. So, y'all find that on YouTube under that. Money Looking Good and Love is Coming In. Yeah, actually, I'm going to title it Lucrative Ideas and Money is Coming In. Something along those lines. Uh, For those who are dealing with somebody who is coming in to reconcile, what's the energy with that? I wish I can take back all the words I said to you. I get very angry when someone doesn't agree with me and I act impulsively. Okay, so somebody can do little petty betty shit. Things to like one up on you, but I don't feel like they were necessarily trying to. You could have felt like this person was playing like some type of mind games or some shit like that. Or you could just feel like you can feel defeated in this connection. You know, maybe they feel defeated in this connection. King of Wands and Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, so somebody's moving out of that self-sabotaging energy. Because I feel like some of y'all felt like this person was playing mind games or something like that. But when they were really, they were truly actually self-sabotaging. Um, it had nothing to do with you. It just had to do with them needing to leave behind things in their past. Like I said um, just a few minutes ago, this person could have just, you know, allowed their past hurts and trauma um, fuck up the connection, which also put you in the Nine of Wands. Okay? Um, King of Wands says, you bring out the best of me, making me feel like a leader, deciding what I want. And taking action with passion and determination. And then you got the Ten of Pentacles. My family is very dear to me and I want you a part of it. But I also want to build a new one in which I can provide for all your needs. Period. We love that. <laughs> we love that. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You have awakened in me a hot flame of passion to follow my soul and true life path. My soul and body wants you. Period. So... It ain't over with y'all. Let's get some energy from the new energy that's trying to come in. What about for those who need to leave, a, a leave behind past traumas, Holy Spirit, to bring in this new energy? Tell me about this energy that's trying to come in for those who need to leave a, behind past trauma for this new person to come in. Two of Wands. <laughs> I'm planning how to turn this passion I have for you into something practical. I want the best approach and taking action. So it's just you needing to take action on leaving behind the past like I like I told you to. Okay? Mm. Eight of Swords. I didn't follow my own inner guidance and now I feel stuck in the mud. It's hard to see a way out when everyone says this is normal. Ten of Swords is here, but it came out in reverse. So again, there is a, just a need for you to be able to make the decision to walk out of whatever it is that you're holding on to. Put it into it. You're the one that's standing in your own way. Okay? Let's 
Because I feel like some of y'all could also self-sabotage too in a new connection. So, don't be that one. Don't be that one. All right, let's get some messages from y'all person's higher self. From, for both energies, Holy Spirit. Both energies. Let's get messages from their higher self. Hey, Risa. I self-sabotage the connection. Wow. I know y'all can clearly see it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We know. I have messages from this person's higher self, Holy Spirit, for the blessing. From both energies. So this person was scared to let someone in. But they're obsessed with you. And I also feel like for those of you who have not let go of the past. You know what? Some of y'all. You, you, oh, okay, Holy Spirit. Some of y'all have not let go of the past. And y'all are currently dealing with this person. I feel it damn I just posted the TikTok about that I don't so it could have been either your energy or this person's energy but somebody could be getting reminded of their past because of the feelings that they're developing for you or how things may have played out in the connection or something like that so say for instance you dealt with somebody who was a breadcrumber who didn't really want um, much out of a connection, but they tried to uh, string you along anyways, okay? Um, and they'll do uh, a certain number of things that would seem like red flags and stuff like that or would be deemed red flags. And I feel like you could have felt seen a couple of those in this person and it could have had your, raised your antennas. Because look at this person. That's not giving me sweat vibes. That's giving me antenna vibes. Like somebody's on guard. <laughs> Somebody on guard. Like, hold on, bitch. I'll leave this hole real quick. What do you fucking... What you mean? I'll leave this hole real quick. <laughs> I posted on TikTok, you remind me. Uh, I, I didn't say it in the video, but I put it on um, on the video. And one of my little captions on the screen. Um, so, yeah. Some of y'all are already dealing with this person, but y'all are scared to let them in, even though that you are... You really, really fuck with this person, like, heavily. And for others of you, for... Um, when it comes to reconciliation, I feel like that person was scared to let you in because of the shit that they dealt with in their past. And they kind of took it out on you. They kind of bled on you and put you in that nine of wands energy to where you was just like, hold on, bitch. Now I'm scared to let you in. So I, look, it's, it's, y'all gonna have to put it where you fit. Because I feel like when this person comes in to let you know, like, they're they're pushing past whatever limits that they set on themselves, they're going to let you know what's up. And I feel like they're going to apply pressure and it's going to have you scared. Because you're going to be like, but the shit that just happened between us, like, I look, I, 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 I bitch. <laughs> This combobulated out this hole. Like, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> okay. I feel like, uh, yeah, y'all could have felt like this person could have been juggling you or something like that and didn't really want to work with you and shit like that when it was really them trying to 
work on themselves, their their inner healing and stuff like that. So this person wasn't ready to necessarily give you what you wanted out of the connection right now. They had to break from you. And you thought they would break from you because it was somebody else. No. It's not. I also feel like somebody had to get their home life together as well. Somebody could have recently had just moved or something like that or just purchased a house or a car. Like somebody had to get their finances and shit together. They had a lot to juggle. Uh, for others of you, they do have kids. So um, they had to get that shit situated and stuff like that. Like I feel like, you know. Okay. <clears throat> What else does this person want to say? This emperor, the queen of pentacles, and the three of pentacles in the same line is giving me this energy of this person trying to um, figure out how to fit you in their life. Somebody's really sitting here like, damn, how am I going to fit collective into my life? Because you got the King of Pentacles in one row. Underneath him is the Hermit, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So he's really sitting here planning like, okay, damn, all right, how am I going to figure this out? How am I going to work them into this? Like, hmm, somebody is really trying to figure this shit out. Like, what am I going to do? I feel like you can see right through me. <laughs> So you may know that this person is scared to let you in. Okay. I'm sorry for being so toxic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That coming up under I am obsessed with you is... I feel like it's kind of putting twenties <laughs> on this person's feelings for you. All right, let's get two more cards, Holy Spirit, from this person's higher self um, for their future actions, please. Future actions from this person. I've never felt this strongly about someone before. So it looks like them just, you know, come, and I want to commit to you. I felt that card too. I should have said it. I don't feel like I'm good enough for you. Um, Your independence is so sexy and I feel insecure around you. Okay, so this person could have dealt with um, codependent relationships and shit like that. Having to deal with people who um, need them and not want them. And that could have also uh, scared this person just a little bit. Um, but I don't feel like that person is going to allow that to stop them. For some reason, they could have been insecure about the connection. Interesting. Oh, because that self sabotaging energy. Got you. All right. Let's get a couple more and some initials and end this out. Let's get one more card, two more cards from this deck called the spirit of this person's near future actions. No one understands me like you do. So they... 
No wonder they feel like you see through them. And I want to break this no contact. You're the best thing that has happened to me. I just want to hear your voice. So it doesn't necessarily have to be breaking no contact if you guys are already in contact. It don't have to necessarily be that. I just feel like this person wants to reach out and have a conversation. They want to reach out and have a conversation about their feelings and where this is going. So I feel like this is kind of like a piggyback off of the TikTok reading that I just posted. Um, yeah. This person definitely, uh, they had took the time to beat themselves up and how they acted in this connection. And now they're just ready to rebuild it. <laughs> okay, somebody's like, I can't. I can't beat myself up forever. If I'm going to try to fix this and work it out with the collective, then I need to do the work in order to do so and to bring forth this offer. So it looks like they're going to be doing that. Let me get a time card. Fuck. All right, let me go to that side. Hold on. Because I need a time card. I need a time card. And then pull some from here, too. Because y'all know I be feeling a little generous, bitch. <laughs> I be feeling a little generous. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. He reached out today with a random IG reel. <laughs> Call and need to come over, but somebody for sure door dark magic because we hearing each other say shit. <laughs> no, that's just y'all telepathic communication. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you, Miss Woods. I'm glad every reading I have gave you has been accurate. He got that liquid courage you were talking about yesterday. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> All right. Before I get the timestamp, a window coming in with this conversation. Let me just get a few cards from here from them. <laughs> Yu Gi Oh vibes. Hear it. All right. Give me some energy on what this person is going to come in with. What's the energy this person is going to come in with? Damn. Sorry. This kind of tight. I want to provide for you. Didn't that car say that earlier? And he did pop out as the king of pentacles. That means a provider. <laughs> the emperor. That means a provider. <laughs> So they want to provide for you, babe, okay? Like, <laughs> they want to provide for you, okay? Tell us more about the energy they'll be coming forth with. You and me against the world. Mm-hmm. Okay. Give us a couple more. I'm loving the energy. I'm loving the energy, babes. <laughs> you have a lot of people interested in you. Mm -hmm. They ain't about to let them stop that, okay? Say you and them against the world. Transitioning into a secure attachment style. We're, we're what? We're, we're transitioning into a secure attachment style? No more abandonment issues? No, no more anxious attachment? I love that. I don't know what. Hey, that's what I'm talking about right there. And period. Mm -hmm. And period. We're done with the avoiding. We done with the avoiding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this energy that this person is coming towards the collective with. Cause what? Okay. Shout out to going therapy. I love that for you, babe. Yeah, cause I'm low blows. Mm. Can't come in with that. Don't be coming in with the low blows, y'all. When this person come in. 
Yeah, I'm talking to you. I told you to let this shit go. Oh, don't you dare give that good good to anybody else. So y'all better not be trying to pull up who you been with, what you been doing. Did it like sh- calm down, Trick? <laughs> calm down. They wasn't with you. And you wasn't with them. So don't worry about the little in-betweens. Don't worry about the little in-betweens. Who gives a fuck about them? So come in with that. Don't just see or bitch am I tripping? Okay. <laughs> Let me keep going on this fair. Cause I just got scared for a <laughs> And I'm used to seeing the oil, but that shit just kinda scared me a little bit. Okay. Tell me more. Don't be wondering. Don't be asking. Don't be wondering. Don't be doing none of that. Oh, okay. Some of y'all are part of that LGBTQ period. I sure man. This is definitely um for men though, on this one. Because what I wrote on my card. Badussy. So. If you ain't got a badussy. That ain't for you babe. <laughs> Not saying you can't be part of LGBTQ. Don't say that. But that one specifically. For my men. Not saying you can't be part of LGBTQ. Don't say that. But that one specifically. For my men. Okay, you make it safe enough to put my guard down. We love that. Okay, get a couple more. What's this energy that they're coming in with? What is this energy that they're coming in with? Third party reverse. And, and that's what I'm talking about. Because oh. you, I want you. Okay, my service went a little bit shady for a second. But get a couple more. I know my service better stop playing with me. Alright. Two more, Holy Spirit. The energy that this person is coming in with. I feel so deeply about you. Mm -hmm. One more. The letter Q. So, um, let me just get another one. <laughs> they ain't that crazy bitch out here again. <laughs> so that hoe getting pushed to the side. Not choke me, spanky. Okay, so y'all gonna get nasty. I feel like y'all gonna... T- the, yeah, okay. It looks like y'all gonna talk about the, the fall of the third party... Okay, y'all gonna get nasty. It looks like y'all gonna get nasty. So yeah, just being around you makes me hard. Yeah, y'all gonna get nasty too. So it's gonna be a lot of conversations happening, um, deep conversations happening. Y'all gonna be getting nasty. Like, oh, hold on, there is another deck I wanted to pull it from because I don't be using it like that, and I just got it. So I just want to see. What else this person wants to add to these messages? And then we'll get the timeline and the initials. Sorry, we got I got new decks and I've been wanting to use them. Okay. What's this energy they're coming in with? What do they want to say to the collective? What's this energy that they'll be coming in with when they come to reconcile with the collective? What's this energy? You help this. That I feel like this energy keep coming out. It says you light up my world. Will you help me? You help this person a lot. 
with whatever it is that they were going through. I don't know what energy you caught this person in, what happened right when you met them, or what you pulled, helped them come out of. But baby, mm-hmm. bottom of the deck, my love for you is stronger than other uh, than um ever. Let's get two more. The energy that's coming in with them. Okay, so I feel like they're also going to let you know how much you help them get over things, how much you um, help them work on whatever it is that they need to work on. Like, you really, you, you, you just, bottom of that says, I've been fighting a battle I can't win. Like, whatever it is that they were going through when they met you and stuff like that, they feel like you helped them defeat it. I don't know what they was going through, but they felt like you helped them defeat it. He was going through hella losses when we met and I started dropping that spiritual knowledge. Okay, period. <laughs> I heard that, friend. Do your shit, girl. Do your shit. Okay, last card. Yeah, but whatever it was, baby. Baby, 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 baby. Woo! Like, you have no idea how much you they feel like you really, really legit helped them. So they like, yeah, I'm going ahead. I got to go ahead and um give Shorty what she's looking for. I dream about you at night. I need space in reverse. Mm. yeah i miss you and i've been fighting a battle i can't win mm -hmm. you're mine forever and ever Whew. yeah so they're gonna be talking about um what they may have been through during the separation um how you were always popping up somewhere possibly in their dreams or just how they were just feeling very connected to you and then y'all gonna have nasty nasty Nasty. <laughs> Nasty. I don't know why I, I don't know why I need to put the the emphasis on that, but I need to put the emphasis on nasty. Like sweat I'm hearing sweat dripping all over my body. <laughs> Y'all gonna be slipping and sliding on each other, bitch. <laughs> Just slipping and sliding. Just slipping and sliding. Well, the set up, it looks like it's going to be broke. Because somebody about to be slipping and sliding on some stuff. Who we? Mm, 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 mm. This is a good ring. This makes me not want to end. That's what it's giving. Now I'm hearing. Uh, how that song go? Who was that? Future and Kelly Rosen, Kelly Rowland, Never End, or some shit like that. Like I feel like I don't want to end the reading. That's how I feel like this person feels like when they're around you and stuff like that. Somebody feels like they don't, they don't never want none of this shit to end. All right, let's get a couple more cards. This says, you made me a better person. God damn. Collective. Damn. Y'all, when I say y'all did something... on by instinct yeah they said tell me what i need to do all right so i feel like this person um for those of you who dealt with somebody who was affected by their past they ran because they were just scared that you were going to hurt them and like i said you was bringing up unwarranted feelings okay and then this person got into this um 
this energy of like, but if I don't pursue, if I don't pursue the collective and I allow my fears and shit to hold me back or the fear of being hurt from somebody that I'm very, I have this deep connection with, they're going to end up with somebody else. If I feel this way about the collective, I just know the collective can make somebody feel the same way. Like, I know somebody views the collective the way I view the collective. I can't be trying to fuck. I'm I'm, I'm trying to move on. I feel like somebody ran from their feelings. They even tried to fucking move on and just could not. They were just like, no, 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 no. No, I can't. No, 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 no. And then you like, you'll hear from me soon at the bottom of the deck. That's somebody, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I never meant to hurt you. So that you can expect somebody like, hell no, nah, bitch. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> mm -mm. Not mine. No, 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 no. Not mine. I'll be damned. All right, where's my time card? Somebody said, not mine, not today. No. We're not doing that. So, yeah. I heard that. <laughs> you say you got me fucked up with that one. Do you mean? I don't want my time to so real quick. I just had them. Did I put them on the other side? I just had my time card. What did they do? Yeah, but that is, oh, I'll put them back. Alright. In December is at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> All right, when would this person be coming in with this truth? Let's get one card, Holy Spirit. And they'll be coming in with this truth. And if I see December one more time. <laughs> when will this person be coming in with this? Person be coming in with this confession or with this conversation, um, wanting to take this connection to the next level with my clepper. The afternoon, okay, bitch. Can can we get something more specific? <laughs> Didn't come out. Okay. They gave us two cards on Sunday. At noon, reverse. Bitch, d don't play with me. Okay, in November. <laughs> like, stop playing with me. Okay, so it may be um, November, y'all. Remember, we've been getting the fall energy anyways. Okay, so that's what it's really giving for some of y'all. It's just within the next three months, but it's definitely giving fall, fall, and fall is still the next three months. So, yeah, I'm hearing the wait is almost over. You got something else to add to that? Something about um, something that happened in August. Hmm. That's it. All right. Within three months, November, fall, energy. Fall will be starting soon. All right, let's go ahead and get some initials. What's the initials of this person that's coming in to have a conversation with my collective? 
initial names, anything specific about this person that's coming in towards my collective to make this commitment. Somebody can have the nickname Tutu. Some of y'all may go to Tulum. Something about Tulum. Mm -hmm. Or being by some water at the beach or something. I'm hearing the name Annalie. I don't know what that's about. I'm seeing the word one. And you feel like you won. Somebody came recently um, eating eggs. Somebody name can be Edgar. Or Eddie, or there's something about Eddie ice cream. Briars, I guess. Somebody can be seeing moth, moth, moths. <laughs> Sorry. I'm also seeing malt. So maybe somebody had a root beer malt, or somebody could have malt liquor, or something like that. Something about long, long what? The long game, okay, got you. I'm also seeing a tux, tux long game. It definitely gives commitment. I don't know what else to say. Especially with this GG next to each other, it gives uh, matching last names or matching initials. Somebody can like Takis. Shout out for an egg sandwich. This person could be younger than you or you're older than this person or y'all make each other feel young. Because I'm saying the word young. Somebody can like dots, the candy, or dipping dots. There's so many matching letters, it's ridiculous. <laughs> 
Anything else, Holy Spirit? I see the word caged and then I see the word out. So somebody is definitely breaking free from something. Texas can be significant. I'm also hearing the name Tegan. And I'm also seeing the word month. So maybe one month from now. Now I'm seeing the word mouth. Okay. Okay. What's the initials? <clears throat> okay. Um, somebody can be Spanish for sure. Something about somebody being Spanish. Because I've seen L and Los and Los. So somebody can be Spanish. Also, somebody can like somebody's sense of humor. I'm seeing LMAO. Somebody could like that group. Somebody can feel like you're a muse. You're their muse. I'm also hearing the name John Doe, so I don't know what that's about. Somebody can recently drink some juice as well. The word small is here. <laughs> You're killing me, smalls. Sorry. And something about somebody's smile. And I'm seeing the word calm. Oh, damn, okay. Mm. Somebody feels like you wash everything away from them. I'm seeing suds. And now I'm seeing the word I do. Y'all. And I'm seeing the word wed. <laughs> Y'all, I can't. I gotta I gotta go. I gotta get out of this energy because what? Yeah, something and cam is here too so maybe i gonna even get this on camera or something like that all right shit all right the initials are um d o e u i j n l e c h n L M A O S D W U E M A B and of course Q because it's been out here. So those are the initials that we have. If this reading resonated for y'all in any type of way, you know to like, comment, and subscribe. Especially if you are on YouTube, if you're watching this from TikTok, then all you can do is just, you know, like the live. But I appreciate y'all anyways. If you want to book a reading with me and you are coming from TikTok, you know to click the link in my bio. And if you are on YouTube, you know to click the description down in my, I mean, click the link down in my description box. Um, yeah, so... 
Share this message with some of you who may need to hear it. <laughs> okay, continue to help your girl get to 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. On YouTube. I mean, you can get me to 5,000 subscribers on here, too. I would love that. <laughs> Let's crack it. <laughs> but until next time, I love y'all. I'll see you later. Denise, I'm going to restart this live. So I'll see you in a minute on the next live. Let me just end this one. And then... Yeah, I'll be right right back. Hey.